Hi there. I'm Matt W1MST, Managing Editor of AmateurRadio.com. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to register your own call sign domain name, set up a blog or website using WordPress, and set up a custom email address. And I think you'll be pretty amazed at how simple and easy it is. Every week, or almost every week, I get an email from a ham interested in setting up a blog or a website either for themselves or their club, and I thought I'd create this little tutorial to show you how to do it in the most uh, efficient and cost-effective way possible. So even if you can't seem to figure out how to program your Chinese HT, you can, you can do this, I promise you. So let's get started. We're going to use Bluehost for this example. Um, they're one of the bigger and more affordable web hosting companies out there, and they've been around for gosh, maybe 20 years, and they have a pretty good reputation. Um, they also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee if you end up changing your mind. But uh, feel free to use any host you'd like. Uh, if you do sign up through the link below, uh, amateurradio.com slash bluehost, you'll get their discount price, and we'll get a referral commission, which helps support amateurradio.com. Um, if you're going to sign up anyway, we'd appreciate your support, but you certainly don't have to. Okay, so once you've clicked into Bluehost, we'll click the Get Started Now to start the process. This page gives us the option of selecting our plan. Since we're only setting up one website, we really only need their starter plan, which includes 100 gigabytes of space and unlimited bandwidth. Um, really no need to spend any more here for a more expensive plan. Uh, because this starter plan is more than enough. So go ahead and, and click on select for the starter plan. Here we get to choose a domain name, and uh, I'm guessing you already have one in mind, probably your call sign, but you can pick anything you'd like. So for this video, I'm going to use my call sign, w1mst.com. So we'll see. All right, good news, w1mst.com is available. So I'm going to enter my information in the boxes below. So next, go down the page to the package information. And the first thing I want you to do is uncheck domain privacy protection and site lock domain security and that sort of thing. We don't need any of those extras. Um, you really don't need them and they just add a few dollars to the monthly price. Now, just above those options, you'll see a drop down for account plan. Uh, click that and you should see several different options. I'd start with a 12-month plan for $59, which is a little less than $5 a month. If you're sure this is something you're going to keep for a long time, uh, you can sign up for a longer term, but you can get the price down to about $350 with a three-year term. But like I said, if you're unsure, go with the year, and you can renew it when the time comes. Now scroll down to the billing information and you can enter your credit card number. Also, by clicking the link to the more payment options, you can also pay with PayPal if you're more comfortable with that. But after you've completed this step, Go ahead and click Next. These are just upgrades. Um, there's nothing here you really need. 
So we'll just kind of scroll down through and we'll click complete. Okay, now our account has been created and we'll go ahead and create a password. Okay, now we're going to create a password and I'm going to use Bluehost's password generator to create a secure password. And I'm going to copy that into someplace safe and paste it in and go ahead and click create now I'll enter that password now I'll click submit and no thanks I'm not interested I'm going to do it myself here and I'm going to click I can do it Okay, here we are at our Bluehost control panel page. And the first thing we're going to do is, under the Website tab, we're going to click Install WordPress. Then up here, the big green button, we're going to let Bluehost install WordPress for us. And that's the easiest way to do it. So we're going to click Install. Now we're going to press check domain and they're going to run a test on the server to make sure the server is all set. Fantastic. So now we're going to click on yes, I've read the terms and conditions and we'll show the advanced option. So we can go ahead and change that to, I'll change it to W1MST and we'll change the leave the uh, admin username as it is and there's the admin password and I'll I'll take that and I'll copy that and put it in a safe place and then I click install now We're going to click no thanks because we're going to use a theme that comes with WordPress and I'm going to show you where to find new themes if you would like to change your theme. And themes are ways to control how WordPress looks. So not all blogs will look exactly the same. And the installation is still underway. And the installation is complete. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to press the button at the top that says View Credentials. Then I'm going to go down here where it says View and click. And here's my information. And it tells me how to log in. So I'm going to click on that link. Make sure you write down your password if you haven't already done so. Okay, now I'm at the WordPress login screen. So I'm going to type in my username, which they gave me a minute ago. It's actually my email address here. And I'm going to paste my password, which I had copied earlier. And I'm going to click Login. Okay, here's your WordPress dashboard. This is the login page you'll see once you log into WordPress each time. You find this page by going to your domain name. So for me, it's w1mst.com forward slash wp dash admin and then you'll get to the login screen so you can always find your WordPress dashboard by going to that URL so let me take a look quickly at what 
my site looks like. This is a brand new WordPress site, how it might look to someone visiting W1MST that wasn't logged in. So we'll go back and we'll add a different theme. And a theme is a way to customize the look of your WordPress site. So these are some, these are four themes that come with WordPress. So what we'll do is we'll choose, we'll choose this theme. So we'll go ahead and activate it. And now we'll go back to our website and I'll refresh. And you'll see that the entire website looks different now. Pretty neat. And you can get all sorts of themes online. You can go to wordpress.org and you can choose any number of free themes and there are also plenty of paid themes as well but there are many many very nicely done free themes for you to use on your website and you can change your theme as often as you like so the first thing I'm going to do now that I've changed my theme is create a post I'm going to go ahead over to posts and then I'm going to press add new a new post And that takes a second to load. The first thing I'm going to write is, this is the first post on my blog. So there's my very first post on my blog, and I'm going to go over here and hit Publish. Now it says it's published, and I'm going to view the post. And there it is, my very first blog post. So that's how easy it is. Very simple to set up your own WordPress blog. And I hope that you take a minute and go ahead and do that because it's a lot of fun to get into the whole world of ham radio blogging. There was one more thing I wanted to mention to you before I let you go, and that is setting up an email forwarder so you can create an email address at your new domain and forward that email that comes into that account to an email address that you check, like maybe a Gmail account or a Hotmail, something like that. So go back into the Bluehost control panel, and then we're going to scroll down to forwarders. Actually, we don't need to scroll. It's right there, forwarders, under mail. And all you need to do to set up a forwarder is to click add forwarder. And the address we're going to forward is Matt and we're going to send it to my AmateurRadio.com address, editor at AmateurRadio.com, and click Add Forwarder, and that's it. So now when someone sends an email to matt at w1mst.com, I'll receive it at my email address, editor at AmateurRadio.com. So that's it. Pretty easy. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments, and thanks so much for watching the video.